All right, here on the Tradition Campus at William Carey University, we've got Dr. Lori Windham. Dr. Windham, you are, uh, suffice it to say, in charge of the programming for prospective teachers, folks who want to go to college to be teachers. But what happens if there were no teachers? Well, there would be a lot of other professions that we wouldn't have um, people in because I believe it all starts with education. And education um, was important enough in our, you know, history that um, it was, you know, made a priority for our forefathers. So education is very important for our nurses and doctors and every field there is. Absolutely. So what, what are the opportunities available at William Carey University? Well, one of the biggest opportunities that we have right now is um, we are working with local school districts in a Grow Your Own initiative, which um, our philosophy is, you know, the teacher shortage has hit the coast. Years ago, maybe the Delta was talked about a lot, but their teacher shortage is on the coast now too. So we are working with local school districts to help them um, work on getting their teacher assistants who are already in the system, already employees of the school district, and may want to be a teacher in their own classroom. We help them um, determine what credentials they need, what core classes they need uh, to come into our program, and that'll lead to licensure, and that way they can have their own classroom. So they're essentially growing their own teachers within their school district. We also uh, work with the educator prep programs um, in local school districts. Our high schools have educator prep programs now, and if the students complete year one and year two and then transfer to us, they're eligible for a $36,000 scholarship. And if they go to community college first and come to us, they can still get the 18000 for the last two years. Uh, our biggest um, influx of students has been our teacher assistants from public schools because we do have a teacher assistant scholarship program also and those teacher assistants are awarded a three thousand dollar per trimester scholarship to go toward their full-time tuition um, that helps them a little bit they don't have to take out as much student loans they can get their degree you know teacher assistants don't make a whole lot of money but they have a whole lot of off to offer right you know, it's, it's terrifying for me to think of a teacher, a true teacher shortage. Um, I, I go back just, well, we're 2024, right? So I go back just four years ago when, when COVID took off, and then we had to teach our kids. They had to stay home, and we had to teach them. And that's when, you know, when we realized we're, we're not great teachers. <laughs> we, we don't do this for a living. It's, it became very important, the role that the teacher plays in the development of, of the children. It's not just educating them. There's a whole social experiment happening there, and that is a huge part of just the development of the child as a whole. And one of the things that we pride ourselves on in our education department is that we try to um, prepare our future teachers to meet the social, emotional, and academic needs of children because it's not just about the academics. There's a lot that goes on, like you said, in the classroom that's not just about reading, writing, and math. So teachers today have to be prepared to um, address a lot of issues. When I started teaching years and years ago, this is my 32nd year in education, um, 25 at the public school level, K-12, and then here. And um, things were a lot different then, you know, a lot different. Sure, things have changed, I mean, just in the last four or five years, mm -hmm. you know, and I and imagine that, that will be the constant, right? It will continue to change. So for those prospective teachers that are watching right now, why should they choose William Carey? Well, William Carey believes that being in the classroom is a calling. Um, we do believe it is a ministry. Um, we do believe it is part of community service. We believe it is an important anchor in our community is to put the best educators possible in the schools in our Mississippi for our children. And so what kind of, um, would you have programs or scholarships available for those individuals um, for specifically for on the undergrad side? Yes, we do have um, any undergrad, even if they're not a teacher assistant, is eligible for the higher to scholarships that we started last year. They also are eligible for the lower tuition. They also get free textbooks. Um, if they are a teacher assistant, they get the $3,000 per term once they meet the requirements for the core. They have to finish their core first, like English and histories and all that. 
and then their last two years is basi basically they get the three thousand dollars a term for their last two years. It, it's I've noticed a trend in the, just the conversations we've been having today that a lot of the staff here seem to have that public school experience prior to to joining. Um, I, I, William Carey, is that kind of how it works for a lot of your, your instructors mm -hmm. here? A lot, most of our instructors here have public school experience. Um, most of us have retired from public school. I taught second, third, and fourth grade in Harrison County School District, so I'm local. And um, we're invested in the communities here on the school, the coast school districts, and we try to make sure that we put the best possible teachers in classrooms that we can. So tell us, uh, going back to the TAs, tell us about the alternate route program. If a teacher assistant already has a bachelor's degree, and I was surprised there are a lot of teacher assistants that have a bachelor's degree, then we also recruit and work with them. Um, I work with the undergraduate part, but we have people that we refer them to in Hattiesburg, and they are get 50% off their three classes that they have to take to be alternate route program. So there are initiatives in place for them also. So what is the alternate route program? The alternate route program is designed for people who already have a bachelor's degree in another field. Um, if they have a bachelor's degree in another field, they have to take some of the licensure exams to get in the program. They have to meet a GPA requirement to get in the program. Um, they have to get a job. They have to take three classes um, to get in the program and then they're initially, they already have a job in the classroom, they're already teaching, um, but they'll go through an internship to get their permanent license. So it's just an, we have a lot of undergraduates say, I wanna do traditional routes, but you don't have a bachelor's degree yet. But you do have to have a bachelor's degree in another field. So it's good for someone, we have a lot of people that come from nursing um, in other fields and say, you know, hey, I want to be a teacher. What about those folks who already have their bachelor's degree and they've already been teaching, but they want to go to the next level? The next level, we have people in every department. Um, you can go up and get your master's degree. Um, we have a lady here that works in the graduate program, so she works, a lot of my undergrads transition right into the graduate program when they leave us. And then we have a specialist program and we have doctorate program. Any kind of educational program you want, you guys have it here, mm -hmm. ready to go. Yep. It's good. Again, addressing that teacher shortage is key. It's a big part of, of how you know our children are being educated, how they're coming up in, in society. So it's good to have that. Good to know that you guys are here doing the, doing the work. Well, that's our calling is to help you know, put great teachers in classrooms. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Dr. Wyndham.